My name is Betsy Kendall. I'm an artist. I've always wanted to be an artist, and I hope I always will be. And uh, I tried being other things, like um, photographer or computer person, and I just missed feeling the stuff, the tactile experience, and the um, looking and making things. Uh, so I'm back where I started, being an artist. My primary subject is things that I see, um, people, landscapes. I'm working on a lot of landscape, uh, landscapes um, during the summer, but uh, during the wintertime especially, I work on a lot of figure pieces. Uh, I join with some friends and we hire a model and we um, draw the model and I end up drawing my friends a lot of the time, the surroundings. Um, I think my main reason in wanting to do art is to try to make sense of the things I see and try to, try to put it together. I think that's what people do. They try to make sense out of the things they see and, and, and learn how they, they do make sense. Um, so putting one line down and another line down and putting the things together so that they make a story in a very subtle way um, is really rewarding for me. I, I find that um, if I stop doing it for a while, I don't feel very happy. When I start, things start making sense for me too. Um, let's see. I think that's probably about that all I want to say. What about that piece? Can oh. I talk about it a little bit? Well, that's a fellow whose name is Honey. Um, he's an artist model. He's since retired from modeling. And uh, he has quite a collection of interesting costumes. Um, I think he might have even made those pants himself. Uh, and that's in my friend Liz's studio. And uh, she always has interesting gizmos in the background. That's in the background you see a little puppet. I think it's a Venetian puppet or a German puppet from the mid middle of the 20th century. And she has a bone and she has... To me this piece was interesting because it had the little man and the little man and lots of cross hatches. <laughs> The crisscrosses and sort of he feels like to me like he's in this world of plaid and he's the lights coming across his face and then there's the shadow coming the other way and he's kind of, kind of pushed aside to this, by the square of the window. Um, we all seem to have to fit in with the things that are around us and that's that's what it looked like to me he was doing kind of fitting in but making being himself at the same time. Um, the best models are the people who are themselves at the same time. That's, that's what I have to say to you artist models out there. Thank you for being yourselves. Um, that's it, unless you want to ask me more questions. That's good. Right. Do you want to just talk to me about what started you in art? What started me in art? Um, my mother was a painter uh, when, in the years before I, uh, before I knew her, and uh, she gave it up. And uh, when I was a kid, there were always these pictures around the house. I, I was always fascinated by them, you know, what is that in there? And what's, a lot of them are abstract. Um, the colors were really wonderful. She was an abstract painter. She always loved just painting with the color of these, uh, that were there in the tubes. Um, but other than that, it was also the, the way she looked at pictures and the way we looked at picture books together. Um, I remember we had a Bible um, that was illustrated by Renaissance paintings, and some of them were very strange. For, for example, the, a painting of the Massacre of the Innocents where this man wearing these strange striped pink and yellow pants was wielding a sword and there were dead babies all over. And just what the heck was going on in that picture was really fascinating to me. And they always made me feel a little bit different. The really exciting paintings, every time you saw them, you saw another thing. You, you got a new experience. Um, that's probably what I want out of art, is having a relationship with a picture um, that lets me see something a little bit different every time I uh, experience it, or out of the corner of my eye, or just casually, or sometimes actually just sitting there and appreciating what, what's there. I think that's the value of art now. There's so much um, in our life that's visual. If, there's, if you can make a, an image that will still engage you after time and give you more, um, that's art.